to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. I want to share some happy mail that I have been working on since before April. Um, I had started making masks and this got put to the side, but I did want it to get these finished and get these out. I just wanted to send, like I try to, every couple months I just try to send out maybe eight to 10 happy mail packages. I make them all the same, but the goodies are normally different. So this is what I had previously shared. This is a iridescent fry box. I'd used some iridescent paint in my stash. These were some um, pillow boxes that I just cut the tops off and made them into fry boxes. This made just for you with the little gold background is a file from my silhouette and I will leave file information down below. This is some trim from AliExpress. This little kind of card here is also a file from uh, my silhouette. And then the girl sticker is from the LOL sticker pack. Also the little flower and this get it girl is a reset girl, one of the planner stickers. So inside of these, I have included these wax pencils and this is something that I had saw on Leela's channel and she is crafts and hauls with Leela. So I took these little tags that I got a while back just to tell the person what it was. So this is a self adhesive resin rhinestone picker that I saw Leela from crafts and hauls with Leela haul and I purchased them some from Amazon. So I will leave a link to these down below. So each one of the packages will have the wax pencil. They'll also have this little package here. And I got these in some birthday mail from Tina, who is Hands of a Miracle. I just have some shred with a little staple. And these are some Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers, the little small ones. And then I just have some shred and some foam flowers, the little card with the note. And um, I do include additional goodies. I just couldn't fit anything else in the fry box because it is hot glued together and I didn't want it to come apart. One of the other things I included in the package is some of these little bows and this is also a silhouette file that I'll leave a file number down below. But this is one of my favorite bows that I use and I just cut apart these bow appliques from AliExpress and glued them on top. I use that uh, Prima paper that I just hauled from Peachy Cheap. I can't remember the name, but it has that rose gold background in it. And then I use some of the seam binding that I get from Erin's shop, and she is um, my scrap cabin shop. So that's how they all look. I do have eight of these going out, and this is how they're packaged. So I just put them in some large bags, wrapped it all the way around. There's goodies in the back. I do have the person's name on the back, so I won't turn it around. Um, they either have die stamps or something that's particular to that person that I know they would use. Then I just have the bows here on the side and I do have a note there. So this is how they go packaged. I only have three here that are packaged, but I'm just getting ready to send all of these out. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll leave all the file information and any video that I have sharing any of these projects to include where I started these uh, iridescent boxes down below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day. Bye.